Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Smith and today I'm going to be talking about being an entrepreneur. I want to talk about exactly how I made it happen. This video is geared towards people who are creatives. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're an artist. You can be just a creative thinker who creates strategies for brands and businesses, but that is where I'm geared toward. If you are trying to be an engineer who just wants to like, you know, design an engineer and doesn't really want to start your own business, you just want to do that on your own. Uh, like as a freelancer. This is not really the video for you. This is for people that really want to go out and be their own boss and start their own business and kill it. I'm not sure if you guys listen to Gary V. He's definitely a lot to take in. So if you haven't listened to him, just like beware. He's very intense and he speaks really fast and he's got a lot going on in his brain. One thing he said really stuck out to me. There's no such thing as a starving artist, just an artist who can't sell. That really sunk in and I said, okay, why can't I go out and make just as much money as when I was in finance? It should be easy, right? Like I can sell, I can sell in finance, why can't I sell art? So I'm gonna break it down for you. I 100% agree with Gary V. It is so much about like whether you know how to strategize and sell you, your art, your being, your strategies, everything. But I think it's a little bit more than just selling. Step one, you've got to use your resources. I'm gonna use the example of someone who wants to sell lamps. They make lamps, they look, make cool lamps. I don't do that, but that's something, I'm just gonna keep coming back to that reference because I'm sure somebody out there wants to make lamps, okay? So let's say you wanna make lamps. Where are you getting your materials? Are you using the best of the best or do you have to? Can you go to the scrap store? See if you can get creative with your resources. If you wanna sell, you can't just have one piece to sell. You gotta have like 10, 20, 30. If you wanna sell paintings, you can't just have like one painting and then like start an Instagram. It would be like, great, there's your one post. Awesome, not cool. Like you need to do volume. Back to the lamp guy. If you wanna sell lamps on your own, start some social media, talk to some friends, make some lamps. And then what you need to do is start talking about it. Start talking about it to every person you know. Get business cards and then go into a meeting, go into a friend meeting, drinks, coffee shops, anything you can, and just start telling them about it. Just be like, oh yeah, I've been making these really cool lamps. Whip out your phone and show them pictures. You don't need to talk about whether or not you've sold them. You don't need to talk about whether or not that you're trying to make that your business. You just start showing people. Start saying like, this is what I've been doing. When I sold my first painting, it was just simply because I was telling someone what I was doing lately. And I was like, look at this painting that I did for my brother. And they were like, oh my gosh, I love that. Can you do one for me uh, for $500? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I will. And then all of a sudden I was gifted with this little, you know, project to do a painting for money. And I'd never done that before. I'd put it in contests and, you know, given it as gifts, but I'd never done that. But it's that act of telling people, showing and telling. It's like first grade, like show and tell. Really, really the best strategy. Because as you know, as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner, the number one way that you are going to sell in the, in the short term and in the beginning is by word of mouth. This may seem like, wow, everybody knows this, but I have never once paid for marketing with photography ever in my life. I've done over 400 paid photo shoots. Probably hasn't been the best strategy. I don't know how I've made it work, but anyway, it's all word of mouth. I have become a photographer through word of mouth and some really simple marketing tips. Okay, so number two, you need to know who is gonna buy your product. Who are you selling to? This may seem like marketing 101 for dummies, I don't know, but like it really is true. You are not going to sell to everybody. So for example, I have friends that are trying to be photographers and they maybe wanna sell to bloggers. They wanna do photo shoots with bloggers. To me, that just isn't gonna be my target audience because Bloggers want constant content all the time. They don't have $400 to spend for one hour. They wanna give you like 25, 50 bucks an hour. I don't have time for that. So to me, I'm going for who has money? Who has money and wants to pay for photo shoots? To me, that's people that are 40 to 50 years old. They have high school seniors, want family photo shoots, you know, maybe wanna pay for their kids' engagement shoot, those kinds of things. I want checks. Somebody's gonna write a check, literally, and give it to me. Those are people that are 50 to 40 to 50 years old. But guess who writes the checks for weddings too? 
not the 25 year old getting married it's the parents the parents so to me I haven't really utilized Instagram quite as much for photography because it's not where I get my business I mean it's nice and all for all the people that might be like oh my gosh I saw this wedding photographer online and she was like so good mom and then the parents are like oh does she have a Facebook and then uh, they're like ah oh, maybe I don't know and then they go to the Facebook and that's where they connect with me so I'd say 99.5% of my photography business has come from Facebook I don't want to say I hate Facebook but like I'm not a Facebook user for my own personal enjoyment I do not sit on Facebook and scroll through people's posts like Instagram is my jam like I love Instagram it's so fun it's so pretty there's so many wonderful things but Facebook to me is just like mumbo jumbo and it's not really my thing but it's where I get my business so I have to stay active so again number two is know your audience know who you're selling to and really write it down number three is structure you have to structure your time some people need certain amounts of time to work on things and then they get burnt out for me I am like a workhorse and if I have a project, I will work on that project until it's done. I don't care how late it is. That's kind of how I do things. But then sometimes I don't use my free time quite as wisely. So it's kind of a give and take. Like how do you work? If you work like want to work on a project three hours a day for like five days, like do that. For me, I'd rather just like hammer it out and get it done. But you really need to structure your time and say like, okay, when am I going to work on this? How am I going to fit it in? Um, you got to say no to things you got to be honest with people and say like hey I'm really trying to work on this project and I'm not gonna be able to go out tonight because this 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 and at first people will not understand people will be like why are you not coming out why are you not why are you doing this why are you spending a thousand dollars on this instead of that Gucci bag why are you spending money and time and effort into this thing that could amount to nothing that is the essence of being an entrepreneur putting thousands of dollars into something that could amount to nothing but you know you know if you're going to be successful you already know because if you're going to be successful you will make it happen if you have doubt then i don't know like maybe you will maybe you won't it might be luck it might be charm it might be you know the opportunity comes and the right timing and you know those people awesome that is not most people most people need to work really hard to make it happen Number four is listen. Listen and take in as much information as you can from other people that who have been successful or your idols or people that are doing it right. Take notes, take screenshots, really understand what they're doing, what's their process, how did they get from A to B? Because that may be the same way you need to get from A to B. And if you really haven't thought about it and you just kind of like go guns a blazing with no plan, you're probably going to make a lot more mistakes and it's going to take you a lot longer time to get from A to B than if you really just like did your research. And that seems like such a dumb thing to say, like do your research. But honestly, like listen to podcasts, call up a friend who's in the same industry. I'm sorry, but like when people call me up and are like, can you give me an hour Photoshop lesson? Which it's rare, but I know so many people that are trying to be photographers and like one person does that a year. And I'm like, absolutely. Like I'm giving my free time and effort to help you with your photography business, to help you with your craft, to help you learn Photoshop. Like I will do all those things, you know, maybe in a couple years when I'm, you know, bigger, I won't be able to do that, which I don't know if I will be, but you know, at this point, like you could be reaching out to that person who has amazing lamp business, back to the lamps, and just say, hey, how did you get off the ground? Like, what did you do? Where did you start? How did you get notoriety? How did you get into magazines? Like, where did you, how did you get into, you know, Crate and Barrel? Like, this is so cool. And just start asking questions because sometimes people aren't bogged down. Sometimes people will say, so it's like, you have to kind of think like, you know, maybe this will go right for me. And just the ask, just make the ask and take a big risk take a risk and send that dm and just make it happen because you never know you never know now once you've learned those things obviously implementing them is the next step nobody needs to tell you that like once you learn something you need to implement it but that's the most important step i mean like take action so i'm gonna give an example 
I have just been getting photo shoots for the photography part of my business. I do a lot of different things. I do content and strategy and marketing, but I also do, you know, photography and video and that kind of thing too. So for my photography, I mean, I'd love to do more weddings and some random friend was like, why aren't you on wedding wire? Like maybe a year ago. And I was like, maybe I should get on wedding wire. Like why have I never done any marketing for it? And I just didn't make it happen. And then I finally was like, man, I really want more weddings. And I, I came back to it in my head. So I get on wedding wire, I, you know, sign up, I get, I pay the fee and like literally the first day I'm on there, it's like, okay, here's an inquiry for a wedding. And the lady on the phone's like, oh, you can get like 10 to 20 weddings. That I charged like three or four grand for. And I'm like, okay, so this little $150 a month thing can help me get like, you know, 30, 40, $50,000 added to my year. Why wasn't I doing this before? Somebody told me this a year or two ago. Like, why didn't I listen to them? So if there's one thing that I urge you to do, it's to take all of that advice and really make it happen. Like implement it and push for it and write it down and just do it. Like set goals and make it happen. But you really, really have to invest in the right kinds of people, uh, people that will further you and build you. And you know, if there's somebody that's tearing you down, unless it's like a spouse, you can't divorce <laughs> really surround yourself with people who are going to help you become the best version of yourself to make those things happen. Know that you're going to have to know you're selling to create time, structure, invest, and really like full on immerse yourself so that you can make big changes. So at the end of the day, I believe in you and there are tons of people around you who believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you like and enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe and I will have more videos like this to come. And also turn on the little bell notifications if you wanna see more coming straight to you. Smack that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up and I will be back with more. Hope you're having a great week and I will talk to you soon.